arbitrary thing just because FF6 is a very bro broken game by nature. If it was me, I would say no. I mean, assuming that the Intangir is supposed to be immune to instant death, then I would call uh, um, taking advantage of that by casting Doom on it to be uh, something I wouldn't do in a glitchless run. But the thing, I mean, it's an arbitrary category, so it can mean whatever you want. I mean, like, I, <laughs> like, running away from Ifrit and Shiva is kind of iffy, I would say, for glitchless, but I, but I do it because the Japanese runners do, basically. Same with running away from Kafka at the uh, sealed cave. I mean, I'd I'd, I'd want to look up in the um, like the in a, in the uh, mechanics wiki or something like that to see if the Intangir is supposed to have death immunity. Because if it's if it has death immunity, then I would definitely say that that's a glitch. If you uh, even though you're not you're not personally casting Vanish on it, you're still exploiting the uh, bug that um, that Vanish status makes instant de bypasses instant death immunity. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, do whatever you want. I mean, <laughs> the point of an arbitrary uh, category is to have fun, so... Using, w making whatever rules you want to make it fun is... That's kind of the point. <laughs> that too, Illigen, that too. I am, in fact, always down for uh, irritating the any percent is the only true speedrun crowd. <laughs> Along with uh, making, ref making references to Link to the Past and Super Metroid. These games were uh, the true any percent category is one that no one really cares about. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Credits warp are the credits warp runs are the best because they can match tasses. I mean, who cares if they're not really all that fun once you've seen it once or twice? It's about matching the tass. I'm honestly kind of surprised I haven't had somebody uh, try to argue that my Chrono Trigger runs aren't really any percent because I don't do Lavos Shell Skip. And it's like, well, uh, your point being, <laughs> I'm still calling it any percent, even if I'm not using the fastest possible route. Hey, Captain N.
definitely not getting sub six uh, this time. Thanks to all the fakies. Yeah, like when when I return to FF7, I am not planning on calling it no slots, just because the last time I did that, I mean that would pretty much every 15 to 20 minutes, somebody would ask if no slots means no materia slots, and I got pretty darn tired of explaining what no slots is, so I'm planning to just call it uh, Final Fantasy VII. Let the people that care figure it out from there. It's about 6.05 here. I still gain time there, well... Eh, actually gaining... I mean, yeah, I would say gaining time uh, there isn't really that uh, notable. I, yeah, I never touched slots any time that I casually played the game, just because I never used Kate Sith. And I pretty much never used slots as sets or in FF6 either. Because silly old me, silly old teenage me didn't know how to manipulate slots. I should relearn how to uh, go over that V so I don't have to stop for like half a second or however long that takes. I'm gonna turn around like that to try to build the momentum. I really need to uh, know where, where the opening is. Poof. Tight squeeze there. Yeah, I didn't think you could actually outrun that that uh, that needle, but then I saw the guy that has the record at this category doing attempts, and yeah, you can <laughs> if you're really, really good. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I remember, yeah, she was tweeting about that, well. I think we know who we're reading then when this dog and pony show ends. I uh, probably half minute hero. That's what she tweeted about uh, planning to stream tonight. I might miss the sub 15 just because of uh, <laughs> Crow, though, which is why. If this were earlier in the evening, I would have reset over that fake luck. I'm still gonna get it, just barely though. Okay, let's 
do a better job with this stage now. Man, that would have been a really legit world, uh, three time. <laughs> world one hadn't been so early. This level's always kind of a downer for me, too, just because I know Bramble Scramble is coming up next. Speaking of which, here we go. <laughs> hey, finally got that. First time tonight. Well, I'd say we have ourselves a run going now. <laughs> Evening, Vic. Just need to not die here and lose it all, no. Oh. 
I laughed so hard at the sub 50 round had a uh, like five fakes or whatever I, what it was that I got. A lot of game left to go though. Uh, yes, that's very much a glitch. It's called a wrong warp, where uh, I create a corrupted um, sprite that looks like an invisible barrel, and then throw it in a certain position, and then once, once that's been set up, if you enter a bonus stage, either via barrel or a cannon, uh, then the game just freaks out and sends you back to the world map. Probably will be actually because of getting both wrong warps. Oh, hoo hoo. Not quite as much as I was expecting, but that works. That works very nicely now to not lose it all. There are many, many opportunities coming up to lose it all, too. Yeah, that glitch only works on the 1.1 and 1.2 versions of the game, too. If you do the same thing on the 
first print, it will crash the game instead of sending you back to the world map with the level mark complete. reading that there was originally supposed to be an extra boss in the game that's kind of like almost like a palette swap of that ghost there, only it's blue. Like Mr. X, I think is what it was going to be called. And it just got taken out during development for some reason. Maybe that was going to be the boss in World 6 or something. Closer to that barrel than I actually was. Just with the checkpoint moving nigh to. World 3 was the rough one in my PB. I, I have a good w World 4 time because of getting the Bramble Scramble Warp in this run. Okay, parachute time. Still kind of freaked out because I almost rolled right through the uh, turret. Kitten has good taste. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh no! Arg. Thought I got dis disoriented in where my webs were. That really, really hurts too, just because that's the last part of the stage. Well, it was going pretty well until that death, but uh, it can still happen. That's one of the worst places to die in the whole run, too. Which is why I take it so cautiously. web de uh, despawns to I am already losing time but I should still be like a minute and a half ahead or so if I don't die to the bus Exactly a minute and a half. Ah, so yeah, I lost probably a minute and a half or so on Web Woods in that death. Drop down.
Just I'm getting this floor clip pretty consistently now. No, okay, I still got the uh, barrel at least, even if I got hit. I've already choked away most of the lead I built up in <coughs> Worlds 3 and 4, so... Trying to get as strong of a finish as I can muster. Pick up bananas because it's an auto scroller. Because they're good for you too. Yeah, killing those porcupines at the end is for lag reduction. And also, well, something to do too, because you do need to hang out in the left half of the screen for a little bit. Or else, because if, well, the warp is happening, or else you'll die. Because you'll get crushed by nothing. stretch. Let's go sub 50. Yeah. 
So this part's always scary because of all the lag that can be worried about dropping inputs. Okay, I'm not losing as much as I thought I was going to do from uh, Clapper's Cavern and Indie Well. Not, probably not going to be able to get a 48 though. Other than going the wrong way, that was decent. Oh, and failing the short goal, too. Was just moving too fast to get away from it.
if you think that's bullet hell, you should see what Super K rule at the end of this bonus world is. I mean, it's not by hell by any means. It's a pretty simple pattern, but it's just him shooting at you for like a minute and a half or so before you finally get your one hit. That's all it takes. Alright, 4921 sub 50 legit. Beat my fake PB by about 25 seconds. Or, no, 35 seconds, because it was 4956. <sighs> there it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. And I lost time on every world after four to that. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. If I hadn't died in Web Woods, that would have been a high 47 then, because that was probably about a minute and a half death there. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> sub 48, I guess, would probably be the next step, because that's what this run would have been if I hadn't died in Web Woods. Did I die anywhere else? I'm trying to remember. If I did, it would have been a pretty fast death. I almost kind of wanted to <laughs> try to learn the uh, the faster route for Web Woods, at least just because it's consistent is the thing, because uh, the thing that I, makes me kind of have trouble with it is just that there's no real consistency in where I put my webs and stuff, so I'm always having issues with dodging bees and stuff, but the, uh, the damage boost based route is, yeah, you're, you're doing all your jumps and everything in the same positions because you're needing to damage boost off the bees, but we'll see. Yeah, oh yeah, and uh, I mean, I, st I, st I, w I wouldn't have cut the 40s 9 even with f Fakeless, but uh, it would have been closer. play out since this this will be a PD video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please follow if you uh, aren't already. I'll be back this weekend, possibly even as soon as Friday night, to do Chrono Trigger runs for the SGQ practice, which is coming up very soon. Because I'm 
going to be leaving a week from this Friday, actually. No surprise here, we're raiding Essentia, who's doing half minute hero practice for SGDQ. She's, she's my, gonna be my partner in crime for running Chrono Trigger at SGDQ as well. Alright, and uh, she's not gonna get this, but hopefully a lot of other people will. Raid message is going to be um, full half. Full halfy minute hero, which is a uh, speed trick in Super Metroid. Credits are out of the way, I'll play some commercials and then head on over myself. Uh, after seeing the in-game time to Nintendo Power is in the credits too. I don't normally watch all of these too because you only actually need to see the uh, um, the character role start before you can get the in-game time. Oh, thanks Antilles. Really disappointed that I died in Web Woods because that could have been a 47 otherwise, but. Uh, <laughs> Only go my goal at this point was sub 50, so I got it. <laughs> I almost kind of want to try to learn the fast route now, just because that looks like it's a lot more consistent if you know what you're doing. Instead of just kind of flailing around with the uh, webs like I was doing. <laughs> oh, did you get a sub 50 too? Oh, I 
I have to press A. Forty-nine twenty. Oh, you're one second ahead of me now. All right, first forty-four in game time too. You're gonna be saving me. 